Hi class 6 students, welcome back to Vedic Math class. In the previous class, I have already explained about Vedic Math intro. I have told you who has rediscovered and also I have told you what are the terms called. Okay, now this is also told to you and known to you that there are 16 sutras and 13 upasutras. Out of 16 sutras, this term we will do 3 sutras. One is Ekadikena Purvena, the other is Ekanunena Purvena. And the last one is Nikilam Navataha Charamam Dashataha. Clear? Then I have told you in Sanskrit addition, subtraction and multiplication. What are they called? Addition is known as Sankalanam. Multiplication is known as Guna. And subtraction is known as Vivakalanam. Right? Now, I expect that you by heart all the terms that I tell you, which is there in page number 3. You will get in page number 4, one of the sutras, 14, number 14. And then you will get in page number 5, the English terms and Sanskrit terms. Now come to this page. <clears throat> Today my topic will be addition, uh, combination and then I will teach you what are the combination numbers and I will move to end digit. So today till this much I will teach you. Please listen to me carefully and follow the class properly. Hmm? Since we are doing addition. So in addition Vedic math the first thing we need to know is Combination. Okay. Now, what is this combination term means? What is this combination term means? You will see in combination. Actually, uh, before going to the uh, sums, how the calculation will take place, that we are knowing it. Okay. So, in this combination, you will see The numbers are from 0 to 9. Okay. In this combination, the numbers are from 0 to 9. Now, it's the addition of single digit numbers. But it will never exit 9. From 0, it will start. It will end till 9. Like in the book, in page number 6, if I start writing all this, it will take long time. So, I will just read out from here. You just see here. Take your book, Vedic Math 1A in your hand and just focus here. See how it is written. I told you from 0 it will start. 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. 0 plus 1 equal to 1. In this way, it continues till 0 plus 9. Then move to 1 plus 0, 1 plus 1, 1 plus 2 and again it comes to 1 plus 9. Then 2 plus 0, 2 plus 1 till 2 plus 9. Then 3 plus 0, 3 plus 1, 2, 3 plus 9. In this way till 9 plus 9. Okay. These are the single digit number giving us one total addition of this single digit number. These are called combinations. Now how many combination numbers are there in total? There are 100 combination in total. Clear till this much? Now you may question me ma'am why are we doing this? Why this combination number is required and why it is called combination? So before uh, going to the sums we need to know the combination numbers. Okay in total there are 100 combinations. Out of total 100 combinations you will get only 36 combinations which are having difficult and hard numbers. Out of those numbers, again it is divided into 16 difficult combinations. Now, those who are not getting this meaning, my point is this, addition of 0 to 0 till 9 to 9 gives us total 100 combination numbers. Out of those 100 combination numbers, there are few difficult numbers, there are few Easy number. Now your question will be what does this mean difficult number and easy number. See the numbers 
like repeated numbers you will get no like 2 plus 9 9 plus 2 hmm? 7 plus 3 3 plus 7 these type of numbers you will get another easy number you will get which will click immediately in your brain 7 plus 7 6 plus 6 5 plus 5 do you take time to add this no immediately you can answer 7 plus 7 14 6 plus 6 12 5 5 10 so we can tell it immediately same with these are all easy numbers because you if you calculate this plus this or this plus this whatsoever it is you will get the same answer hmm? so these numbers are called easy numbers or easy combinations but out of this 16 combinations are difficult combinations how many 16. You need to know this. Okay. Don't think that if I skip this and I will just go to addition, uh, uh, the sums and all, you won't be able to do. You need to do this first. First step is this. Now, 16 combination numbers are there, which are difficult combinations. Like for example, these are the numbers given in your book, page number 7. 6 plus 5. You need little time to calculate and then you say it is 11. Whereas if you say 5 plus 5, it is easy. But 6 plus 5 takes little time. Suppose I say 8 plus 3. 8 plus 2 is easy to say. 8 plus 3, 11. Suppose I say 9 plus 2. 9 plus 1 is easy, 10. 9 plus 2, 11. In this, not only 11, it can be 13, it can be 14, 15. But the addition of those two numbers, single digit numbers, that is uh, calculated here. Like 7 plus 5, 7 plus 6, 8 plus 4. 8 plus 5, these are the numbers. Okay, two different numbers, single digit numbers. So, how many combination numbers are there which are difficult? 16 combination numbers are there which is difficult. Close the chapter here. Done. This is the first part. What is the second part? After this you will see, remember in uh, Abacus, without big friend formula or without small friend formula, or without combination formula, we cannot solve any sum. If I am given a sum, if I am given any addition or subtraction to do it in visualization or with skill, if I don't know what is big friend, what is small friend, I am unable to do the sum. Same way in Vedic math, we don't have this term called uh, big friend formula or small friend formula, whereas we have complements. Okay, we have complements. Now, what are those complements? Can you see complement means to go to 10 same like big friend formula okay but there is no sign now I am not talking about any sign just need to know my complement 9 with 1 8 with 2 7 with 3 6 4 5 5 4 6 3 7, 2, 8, 1, 9. Hmm. This is called complement. If you want to write, you can copy it down. I don't have any problem. And I think you people can do it. It's just like big friend. But we don't use that term big friend here. Rather, we will use complement. So to get 10, 9 plus 1, 10. 8 plus 2, 10. 7 plus 3, 10. 6 plus 4, 10. 5 plus 5, 10. 4 plus 6, 10. 3 plus 7, 10. 2 plus 8, 10. 1 plus 9, 10. Done. Third topic done. So I have understood what is combination. I have understood what is complement. Now this combination and this complement when together I will talk about this. Then I will go to the sums. So this is the Second part of Vedic math that you need to understand. Now we will move to the formulas. Okay. The first part is called N digit. You can see your book also to make yourself more clear. You can come to page number 8 but compliments you will not get there. So compliment if you want to remember or you want to write you can write. I have no problem. Hmm. Now N digit. First learn, then we will solve the sum. Because to solve you will take only 10 minutes hardly to solve this page. Okay. So let's begin. What is N digit? Now in Vedic math children, please keep in mind 
you have to read question properly your question is your answer repeatedly i will tell you this please read the question properly in vedic math because your question is your answer okay i have written end digit end means the last one right whatever we know the meaning it says the last one now how will i find out this last one how to do it if i give you 7 plus 7 you people know the answer it is 7 plus 7 14 you know it but i am talking about n digit in maths how you write unit place tens place am i right right okay unit place tens place so unit place or ones place is my last number can you relate this with n digit you can yes you have to so the la i am talking about the last number what is my last number when 7 plus 7 comes what is the last number 4 14 4 so forget about this forget about this don't talk about this now mm, we are just talking about n digit so with the help of this pattern we will do the other sums now you may question ma'am this to we know it so you have written 7 plus 7 which we don't know how we will do we will just calculate and we will write no we will not calculate what we will do see here you keep in mind your question says that you have to find out n digit find out n digit hmm first question is find out n digit suppose i give you 6 plus 5 now here those who are not using math you will not use maths here no calculation of maths you will use vedic math formula only how we will do it which is the highest number here 6 7 5 is the lowest one done now complement of 6 is what 2 3 4 5 what is the complement of 6 4 right yes what you will do the highest number highest number complement whichever is the highest number be it this side or this side hmm whichever is the highest number that highest number complement you will find out first so 6 complement is 4 then you will write 4 here and subtract what is the answer 1 is the answer equal to only 1 you will write you will not write 11 okay you will not write 11 clear again i am repeating 6 plus 5 you know the calculation says 11 so you know your answer to uh, verify the answer you can find it out with your own calculation but how you are going to do in vedic math what is the process you will take the highest number highest numbers complement minus with the next number hmm from the next number you will just subtract it as simple as that okay whatever number i give you say suppose i give you you tell me now 3 plus 8 how i will do what is the complement of 8 to i will put here because 8 is the highest number 3 is the lowest number now subtract 1 you write n digit 1 8 9 10 11 11 if your maths calculation you do 11 to i have written 1 i need n digit written 1 you will not write 11 keep in mind children this is the first starting of vedic math and here only you get confused with question pattern and what is n digit whenever this question will come to you n digit means you have to write only the last part clear i'll show you one more sum say suppose 4 plus 7 so which is the greatest one which is the highest one 7 lowest 4 7 complement 3 i will write here 3 subtract what is the answer 1 now you cross check 7 8 9 10 11 1 n digit 1 clear suppose i give you 5 plus 7 i don't know the answer which one is the greatest one uh, highest one 7 lowest 5 7 complement 3 3 
what is the answer? Minus 2, 2. That means 12 is the answer. 2 to 10. Answer I got. N digit I got. Now calculate it. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Correct? Understood? So, what you will do now? Your 1A book you will take. Page number 8. Hmm. And page, no 9 you will not do. Page number 8 only you will solve in your book. If you find any difficulty, if you find any difficulty, you will just uh... so page number 8 you are going to do only page 8. In the next class I will teach you addition based on n digits. So until and unless I teach you, you will not start. Okay. 1a you will do page 8. 1b, I guess page 8 only will be the uh, same sum. Yes, n digit. So you will do that page also. And be ready for the next class. Till then, bye-bye. Take care, okay?